It's Braves Beat. Greetings and salutations, Braves, and welcome to Braves Beat. I'm Alex Foster. And I'm Mitch Hardy. And we're dating. No, we're not. Anyway, enough chatter. It's time to get to some news. This year, we have some new faces around the building, not only with incoming freshmen, but also with new faculty members as well. Let's check in with Caroline Anderson and CJ Allen, who got the chance to talk with the new teachers this week. Hi, my name is Mr. Debick, and I teach physics and AP physics. What do you do in your free time? Uh, I'm a father to two beautiful little girls, and uh, I'm into rock climbing. Hi, I'm Miss Post, and I am the new registrar and secretary in the guidance department. What do you do in your free time? Um, I like to watch sports and especially girls lacrosse. Hi, my name is Miss Wolf and I am the new media aide. Where did you come from? I went to King's High School and Miami University for my undergrad and Xavier University for grad school. Hi, my name is Mrs. Fuson and I'm an educational aide in Mrs. Walbank's class. And what do you like to do in your free time? I like to hike and canoe. Hi everybody, my name is Mr. Swope. I teach uh, engineering. What do you like to do in your free time? Uh, my free time, I like to uh, wrestle alligators, and uh, that's about it. I'm Miss Shentine, and I teach English. What do you do in your free time? Um, I like to, I coach basketball in Cincinnati Public, and I like to hang out with friends and read. Hi, I'm Mrs. Emmons, and I teach orchestra. What do you do in your free time? In my free time, I play baseball with my three-year-old son, so. That's awesome. I don't have a three-year-old son, so I don't know what that's like. That's probably a good thing. <laughs> Thanks for the report, Caroline and CJ. Make sure you stop in and welcome the new faculty to the high school. Next Friday is a school-wide spirit day with a theme of college colors. Wear the college of your choices shirt on Friday for a class competition at the pep rally. The grade with the highest participation will win Kona ice for everyone. The football team takes on Bethel Tate in their first and their final preseason game tonight. Next week is, their, is the Dogmen's home opener against New Richmond Lions. There will be a huge community tailgate prior to the game, so make sure to come out, be loud, and be there at 5.30. Unless you have been living under a rock, you have probably heard of the Ice Bucket Challenge. This past week, the girls' field hockey took part in the trend among Indian Hill teams. Let's check it out. Hi, we're the Indian Hill girls' varsity field hockey team, and we're here to do the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge to help support awareness for ALS in our community and our school. We'd like to nominate the high school football team and girls' uh, varsity tennis team. You have 24 hours to complete this challenge or donate $100 to ALS. We wish you the best of luck. Goodbye. And without further ado. Oh, God. Ready? Go! 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 Thanks, girls. If your team was nominated and you would like your Ice Bucket Challenge to be featured on Braves Beat, please contact Madeline Seedling. And now, the tweets of the week. Riverbend Music Center at Coney Island is a great place to see your friends outside of school. Over the summer, junior Claire Brown was elated to see her junior classmate Frank Young. But by the look of that hover hand, I'm not so sure he was as excited to see her. Eugene McClay took the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge to the next level this week. Ouch! We are currently in the midst of flu season. Let's check in with Josh Lang as he spreads germs on his peers. He's right. Hi, I'm here with Mr. Saeed. How are you uh, doing? What do you have to say about the new school year? I think we're off to a great school year. I think we've got a lot of positive energy. Uh, my classes are absolutely awesome. We're having a great time. This is going to be big time year for everybody. Oh, excuse me. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Gross. 
Make sure to cover your mouth and wash your hands after you sneeze. Before we go, we'd like to... I just wanted to stop by IHTN Studios today to encourage all of you to follow me on Twitter this year at IHEVSD or IH Superintendent. Throughout the year, I'll be documenting a variety of district events, perhaps providing some inspirational quotes and sharing a few noteworthy articles. And perhaps of significant interest to you, I'll also be announcing school delays and cancellations on Twitter prior to any posting on our website or making a telephone call to your home. As of today, I have 92 followers, make that 93, and I'm looking for many, many more. See you soon at IH Superintendent. Oh well, anyway, as I was saying, we'd like to thank our artists Keeley Gardner and Paige Seeger. It looks peachy. We'd like to remind you to like our Braze Beat Facebook page, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. Have a splendid weekend, Braves. And as always, stay classy, Indian Hill. Mr. Ignatz, Mr. Peru, and Mr. Conway spotted at the Silverton Cafe. <laughs> Hashtag boys night out. <laughs> what am I supposed to say to that? <laughs> Dr. Shelton just gave me a pep talk on boys. What? What? Oh, boys. What, what am I supposed to say? <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll, I'll give you another one. Just told me to play the field. <laughs> Just, I didn't, did I say that? <laughs> Seriously. Get out of here. <laughs> Dr. Shelton just approved magic mic for drive-in movie night. Let's go. Oh, I did not. I did. <laughs> where, where are these tweets coming from? <laughs>